So our project is also a carbon sequestration project. Um, ours is a little bit different from the previous in that we're interested in navigating autonomous seaweed growth platforms by leveraging complex ocean currents and machine learning. So the background for this project is that it turns out that a very promising method of carbon dioxide removal from the atmosphere is to use seaweed. So this is kind of a natural process whereby through photosynthesis, seaweed can capture in its biomass the atmospheric carbon dioxide dissolved in the ocean. And then when the seaweed dies, the biomass de decomposes into pieces and some fairly small portion of, of those slowly make their way into the deep ocean where the carbon is buried and locked for millennia. So the idea behind our project is to try to use technology to amplify this natural process. And um, some of the keys here is that um, using such autonomous platforms, they, they should be active platforms um, as opposed to passive. Um, for the, they want, we want them to be used continually. We want them um, to stay in the nutrient rich areas in the ocean and stay away from ships and other obstacles. But they also, um, they also have to be low energy. So, you know, they, with a motor and a battery and a solar panel, try to um, use the least amount of energy to achieve these goals of carbon sequestration. And, and so the idea behind this project, which is a joint project with, um, with uh, Pierre Lermuzo at MIT and three brilliant graduate students, is that we'd like to design algorithms whereby these platforms could hitchhike ocean currents um, using only control nudging, using the minimum amount of energy. Um, and there's a bunch of challenges here. One of the key ones is that the ocean currents are highly uncertain. So our technical approach, it kind of follows three directions. The first is to develop a realistic data-driven ocean and platform modeling and simulation. The second is to design path planning algorithms um, using the um, kind of information that we have, which is um, information about the ocean currents, um, you know, where the platform is, where we want it to go. And also things like cloud information, wave information, ship forecasts, a growth condition map for seaweed that we can apply. So large amounts of data. Um, the path planning algorithm will be combined with a tracking controller to develop our navigation control architecture. Um, and then that will feed into the seaweed growth platform, which um, for, there'll be a, a kind of control loop around that. The third technical uh, approach or the third piece of our technical approach is to, um, is to use machine learning to really aid this process, to develop a terminal value function for long-term anticipation and deep reinforcement learning to tackle exploration. So our expected outcomes of this project are a control architecture capable of reliably navigating a constrained vessel in the open ocean. And the controller will leverage ocean currents while optimizing paths and maximizing seaweed growth. 